hi guys welcome back to my channel in this very tutorial today i'm going to be showing you the simplest way to cut out your maxi gown okay your flare gown which is maxi and very very long i'm going to be showing you how to make it without joining your flare at that damn part okay so it's very simple and if this is what you seem interested in please stay tuned until the end of this tutorial so what I have here is my six yards of fabric. You can see this Ankara print is very, very beautiful, okay? Very nice. So that is what I'm going to be using to make this tutorial for you guys today. First of all, what you have to do is to measure out the length of the gown which you need. The length of this gown is going to be 59 inches, okay? Now, you are going to add up about 10 to 12 inches to this. So basically, we are going to be making use of two yards of fabric, okay, for the front and then two yards of fabric for the back. Now, just um, bear in mind that you are going to use the whole of this fabric for the sewing of this maxi gown because it's kind of very big, it's a flare. Of course you know and it's kind of very long okay so what we are going to do now is to measure out two two yards into three places okay so now we know that this is the length normally our Ankara comes in 45 inches that is the length and this is the yardage now from this yard I'm going to measure out two yards and we all know that two yards is 36 inches plus 36 inches so i have my first yard which is 36 inches okay so i'm going to bring my hand here and i'll measure out another one yard again so making it two yards so i'm going to go ahead and place a notch right here i'm going to place a notch and then i'll go ahead and So this is two yards. I'm going to keep it aside and then measure out another two yards, okay? Now this is another one yard. And again, I have another one yard. So this is another two yards. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. So meaning that this remaining one is two yards. So we are going to go ahead and we start working on our maxi gown right now, okay? So what I'm going to do is to keep these two aside. You can see these two, I'm going to keep it aside. And then for this one, what I'm going to do next is to fold this one into two like this. See, see what I'm doing? See what I'm doing? I'm going to fold this one into two again and then I'm going to cut it into two. Okay? So you can see I've cut them into two. So what I'm going to do next is to go right to my sewing machine and I will attach this to my two yards. Okay? So I will attach one of it to this one and then I will attach this to this one okay so let's go right to our sewing machine and i'll show you how to join this you have to pardon me because from here i'll start making use of a voice over so make sure that your edges are aligning and you join them you can see where i'm joining it i'm joining it through the salvage side okay so i've joined the first one i'm going to join the other one now 
now after joining it this is what i have from here i want to kindly show you what i have here so after joining this the length of your ankara that is whatever you have now should be the length of the gown that you wanted to use plus about some inches okay extra and the width also should be the same thing okay so this is what i have you can see how long it is and at this point the width and the length is the same thing okay that is if i measure it out with my tape it's going to be the same thing so from here i'm going to fold on bias so you guys you can see the way i'm folding it i decided to fold it one after the other so that you guys can see but you can as well merge the two together and then fold at once you guys i couldn't cut on the floor because of my knee so i had to bring it to the table this table is kind of big it's very big anyway so you'll be able to see whatever i'm doing so i folded on bias and you can see to fold on bias you should have like a triangular shape so i folded the two so for my back i have it folded on bias and the front also i have it folded on bias so what i'm going to do is to locate the area that i should have my across back measurement okay that is my shoulder across back i should have it my shoulder across back is 12 inches so what i did was to locate where i should have 12 divided by 2 which is 6 inches and i note that after that from that particular line from that first line you're going to go down by 4 inches and these 4 inches you're going to mark your bust point measurement okay and on this bust point measurement you are going to have to divide your bust circumference by 4 and then mark it out plus one inch for your sewing allowance now going back to the first line i'm going to go ahead and go in by two inches okay you know that my across back is 12 divided by two i have six so from the six inches mark that you have previously go in by two inches so what you are going to have is four inches remaining and then you're going to have to add half an inch for sewing. This is a allowance. gown with strap, right? Now, because you want your strap to stay in between your shoulder, that's why we're going in by these two inches, okay? So from that line again, you're going to have to use your long ruler and connect it down to the bust point measurement. And then go ahead and mark out your armhole curve okay but you guys if you don't want to go in by two inches you can as well make use of your nipple to nipple measurement to get this okay now after that next you're going to do is to go up from your bust point by two and then mark out your neck line okay once you mark out your neck line you're going to connect the line into the armhole curve okay so you can see this is what i have now what i'm going to do next is from that first line i'm going to go ahead and determine what i need the lens i need for my strap okay so you know that this is like an off shoulder gown so what you're going to do is to remove five inches which is for your off shoulder and then um leave the remaining tape and extend it to whatever length you want for your gown okay so what i'm saying is this i'm going to go ahead and minus five inches okay and then extend my tape downward and measure 59 inches because 59 inches is the length of this gown okay that i'm cutting so but then i'm going to add up two inches for my hemming allowance so making it 61 inches so what i'm going to do now is to 
place my tape right there making sure my tape is not moving so you're going to have to use something to hold it down or ask someone to hold it for you in place for you and then you're going to have to keep rotating your tape all around until you get to the edge of the gown that is to the side of the gown okay so that is what you can see me drawing out i'll finish um rotating the length of my gown so what is left now is for me to go ahead and cut out my shapes okay so once i am done with this i'm going to come up to the neck and then we cut out the shape of this gown i'm really sorry you might not be able to see the views of what we are cutting because this is a flare it is um it is what you should expect because the camera is kind of not um very wide eyes uh, the angle is not kind of very wide for you to see everything okay so now i'm cutting out the neck and from the neckline i'm going to cut into the armhole so you can see the shape of um our neck and the armhole and then from there you're going to cut out the side and then move over to the down part okay so to cut out the down part you're going to have to follow that curve okay the circular curve that you created right there so you guys the remaining part of this ankara that i just cut out you can use it for whatever you want you can use it to make a pocket you can use it for your scarf and all that so now it's time for us to cut out our face in full from our neck depth you're going to have to measure the deepness of your facing so for me i want to make use of 3.5 inches and so this is what i am trying to cut out so this type of facing is going to enter the arm hole it's not like that facing that you just cut on the neck okay so this one is going to enter the arm hole so you can see the shape i've already mark the shape out what i'm going to do next is to bring in um another fabric okay and then i would cut out my facing so i'm going to follow the line that i just traced out right now and then cut out the shape of my facing okay so what i'm going to do first is to cut out the depth and from there i'm going to place and cut out my neck and then join into my armhole and you guys this is my facing so i'm going to place it right now for you guys to see the shape you can see this is what we have i remember that we have to cut for both the front and the back so i just cut out one i'm going to go ahead and cut another one for the front okay so once you are done with that i'm going to go ahead and fold another fabric for my strap okay so this is the strap After, once you are done cutting out the strap the strap length is 10 plus one inch for sewing allowance so half inch for the front and half an inch for the back okay so what i'm going to do next is to go onto my sewing machine and fold the strap so this is the strap and this is the way i'm going to fix it to my gown so you guys you can see what i'm doing okay so you are going to sandwich this inside in between the facing and the gown itself so you can see what i'm doing and then use my pin to hold it down once i hold it down i'm going to go onto my sewing machine and sew using half an inch just like i'm directing you right now okay so i've sewed the first one and this is what i have so i'm going to bring the back also and then place in my facing 
so you guys remember that the facing is right side facing each other okay and then once i bring in the other part of the gown i'm going to also insert the other part of the strap in between the facing of that back and the actual fabric so after i was done inserting my facing this is what i have next is for me to go and weave the damp part of my facing and use hemming gum to hold them down okay so you can see i've weaved the down part of my facing and also use hemming gum to secure it this is what i'm trying to show you right now so i've also gone ahead to cut out my pocket what you're going to do next is to go ahead and join your side seam and then from the shoulder you're going to have to locate your waist point and then fix in your pocket okay so you guys that will be all for this tutorial we have come to the end of it if you found this tutorial helpful please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up share to get more people to see this tutorial and i will see you in my next one bye hey, i got something something to say i'm just so sick of hearing everyone complain i know it's tough and i know there's pain but hitting bottom is the only way to change So I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling, bitch I'm home